So there's two really important 1031 timeframes. It's the date by which you have to identify potential replacement property and close on property. So you have 45 days to identify from the date of your sale closing to ID up to three parcels typically. Mm -hmm. There's some special rules. So define identify. Yeah, there's a formal process, um, just paperwork driven that uh, we need written uh, addresses, property addresses is all we need. Okay. You don't have to be under contract on okay. replacement property to identify it, but it has to ultimately be something that you do go forward and reinvest into. Do they have to be on the market? They don't have to be on the market, no. And okay. most of our 1031s aren't. So it could be a seller finance deal. It doesn't need to be a traditional mortgage, you know, with a lender and all that. You could just call your friend and say, hey, will you sell me these these rentals? And you can. Get yes. an That's agreement fantastic. in place. And, yes. you know, some people have, a, they like to, you know, target their dream property and then have some contingency backup, mm -hmm. you know, plan B and C in the event that that one falls through. As you know, in real estate, anything can happen. <laughs> so what about after 45 days? Uh, I can't find something. Your 1031 would fail if you're not oh. able to identify by day 45. No extensions. No, no. We have no. one extension very recently due to COVID. Okay. Um, the president declared a disaster nationwide, and therefore Treasury issued some regulations that allowed an extension of the 45-day period oh. just for certain uh, transactions that were underway and whose 45 day period fell between certain yeah. dates. Mm -hmm. In the past, what Treasury has done is issue a blanket 120 day extension for any deadline, the 45 or the 180, okay. which was easier to work with. For oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> but this, they didn't do it. This lobbying groups, you know, trying to get Treasury to issue some more um, guidance so we can have some more extensions. But you know, it's tough. It's tough out there. Yeah, it sure is. Definitely. So once you get to that 45 day point where you identified up to three properties, how long do you have to close on the one or the up to three properties that you've identified? It's 180 days also from your sale closing. So those two time frames run concurrently. And, okay. Um, so that's rarely an issue for our clients unless they're targeting maybe a foreclosure where you know, lenders create yeah. some time hiccups that, or short you know, sale. or short sales. Yeah. So oh, yeah. uh, sales. typically yeah. the 45 day is the, the pressing time frame for our clients okay. among the two. Okay. Wow. That's, that's not bad. So, so you said 180 days total to close. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, so we're, we're, we close houses in two weeks. Sometimes, yeah. Right. So. If you can identify by day 45, it's rarely, like Joe said, it's rarely a problem to be able to close on something. Hmm. You know, within that yeah. way.